The Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, has predicted a significant drop in minimum temperature, night temperature, across Odisha during the next few days. Trouble mounted for noted playback singer Soreen Bhatt as a non-bailable arrest warrant, NBW, was issued against him in a sexual assault case. The Odisha government's ambitious health assurance scheme Biju Swasthya Kalyan Yojana, BSKY, has turned a savior for poor and helpless people by providing super-specialty clinical care in top hospitals in and outside the state. In a shocking incident, the body of a man who went missing for last six days, was found stuffed in a gunny bag from a water body near his house at Kabi Chandrapur under Neeli Police Station in Katak District on Friday. The government of Odisha has decided for Golive of the Mukta Soft application in 23 ULBs. Following the success of this application into municipal areas of the state on a pilot basis, it will be now implemented in 23 more municipal bodies. The Economic Offences Wing EOW, Bhuvaneshwar, has arrested two persons from Bhuvaneshwar and Keonjhar on Thursday in connection with an 3 rupee 30 paise crore bank fraud. Mystery shrouds the death of the sub-divisional officer, SDO, of the Water Resources Department, Mukhiguda, Jaipatna block of Odisha Skalahandi district. Three women sustained varying degrees of burn injuries due to an LPG cylinder leak in a house in the Pithapur area of Katak city on Friday morning. After her expulsion as Member of Parliament for Unethical Conduct, Trinamool Congress Mahua Moitra on Friday lashed out at the government, saying that the Ethics Committee has no power to expel and this is the beginning of the BJP's end. The Lok Sabha on Friday expelled Trinamool Congress leader Mohua Moitra as Member of Parliament for Unethical Conduct in Cash for Parliament Questions. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal on Friday said that India was poised to become a $30 trillion economy by 2017 with the collective efforts of the government and industry pushing towards an exponential growth rate to achieve a fully developed India. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday announced that he will seek re-election in Doha Zarchobis for his third consecutive term and sixth overall, media reports said. US President Joe Biden has expressed deep concerns about the 135 Israeli hostages who are in the custody of Hamas. Israel Prime Minister's office in a statement said that Biden had a long telephonic call with Benjamin Netanyahu. Calling India and the U.S. strategic partners, the White House has reiterated that it wants the plot to kill a Sikh separatist on its soil fully investigated and those behind it be held properly accountable. The Canadian government has announced that it will more than double the cost of living financial requirement for incoming international students on 1st January 2024. As the suspense over the choice of the chief minister in Rajasthan continues, party leaders confirmed that Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav is considered to be the strongest contender for the coveted post among all the other names doing the rounds. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday conducted aerial survey of flood-affected areas in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. The Delhi High Court on Thursday allowed tech giant Google to withdraw its appeal against a single judge order directing the Competition Commission of India CCI, to take up the applications moved by the Alliance of Digital India Foundation ADIF, challenging Google's new in-app user choice billing policy. A wax statue of constitution architect Bharat Ratna Baba Saheb Ambedkar was installed in Jaipur Wax Museum, Nahargar Fort on the occasion of Mahaparinir one day. From a gun-wielding Maoist to lawyer to MLA to now a minister in Telangana. She is Dansari Anasuya, popularly known as Sithakka. It was an emotional moment when she was invited to take oath as the minister at L.B. Stadium in the presence of thousands of people. Seychelles President Wavel Ramkalavan has declared a state of emergency after a blast at an explosives store and major destruction caused by flooding. 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन थर्सडे अप्रूव्ड द फर्स्ट अर्बन फ्लड मिटिगेशन प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ पाँच सौ इकसठ रूपए उनतीस पैसे क्रॉर फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड अर्बन फ्लड मैनेजमेंट एक्टिविटीज फॉर चेन्नई बेसिन प्रोजेक्ट अंडर द नेशनल डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन फंड एन डी एम एफ विच ऑल्सो इंक्लूड सेंट्रल असिस्टेंस ऑफ पाँच सौ रूपए क्रॉर Israel's ambassador to the United Nations Gilad Erdan on Thursday alleged that Secretary General Antonio Guterres was playing into the hands of Hamas and reiterated the demand for his immediate resignation. South Korea President Yoo Suk-yeol said on Thursday that his upcoming state visit to the Netherlands will help strengthen semiconductor cooperation between the two countries. and contribute to the development of South Korea's defense industry and exports. India's senior fast bowler Mohammad Shami, along with Australia's ODI World Cup winning duo of Travis Head and Glenn Maxwell have been shortlisted for the ICC Mains Player of the Month award for November 2023. The International Cricket Council (ICC) unveiled a vibrant makeover of the ICC T20 World Cup's new brand identity on Thursday. In a first of its kind incident in Lucknow's Sports Authority of India (SAI), three weightlifters, including a national level medalist, have been found guilty of using banned substances and have been suspended and debarred from the campus. Bollywood star Vicky Kaushal who is receiving a positive response to his recently released film Sam Bahadur graced the latest episode of the streaming chat show Coffee with Karan with his Lust Stories co-star Kiara Advani The Republicans in the US Senate on Thursday blocked a move to pass an aid bill for Ukraine after failing to secure border compromises they sought in exchange the media reported